Tell me how I got over Lord, Lord. Crying all these years. But you know my soul looks back and wonder how did I make it over? <laughs> yeah. Tell me how I got over Lord, Lord. Been struggling and crying all of these years. But you know my soul looks back and wonder how did I make it over? I don't know if y'all know anything about that. Tell me how I got over. Lord, Lord. Been stumbling and crying all of these years. But you know my soul looks back and wonder how I made it over. Ah! Lord, you brought me on over. Lord, Lord. Struggling and crying these years. Tell me how I made it over. Oh! How many of y'all know something about that? You know, my soul, soon as I can see Jesus, the man that died for me, it was a man that bled and suffered. You know, he hung on Calvary. And I want to thank him. For how he brought me. Ah, gonna thank him. I'm gonna praise him this morning. How he taught me. Oh, I'm gonna thank God for how he kept me. And I'm gonna thank him because he never left me. Oh, I'm gonna see somewhere around God often. And I'm gonna shine all my troubles over. You know my soul, it looks back and wonder how I made it on through all of that crap, oh Lord. <laughs> Good morning, family. Good afternoon. Good Sunday morning to you. You know, I woke up with Mahalia on my mind this morning, and I wanted to play, pay homage to the Queen of Gospel. My mother in the gospel, oh, Miss Mahalia Jackson, somebody I sang with at eight, seven, eight years old. I um, really appreciate um, all those memories now. All right. Anyway, how y'all doing out there this Sunday morning? How are you doing? How is your mind? Is it right? How's your heart? Is it heavy? Do it need to lighten up a little bit? Because if it does, why don't you go ahead and listen. Put some music on. But the only thing I I would ask, if your heart is heavy, put on some flowing, nice free-flowing music. Something that doesn't remind you of uh, your heartache. Something that don't remind you of a certain person that brings you a heartache. Um, and my preference is that you take this Sunday and be grateful. Thank God for how he brought you. Ooh, because if he brought you through addiction, if he brought you through murder, if he brought you through being shot, if he bought, brought you through illness, if he brought you, and you still standing here today on this side of the dirt, then you got a reason to be thankful. You got a reason to be grateful. And so, um, uh, you better thank God for how he taught you. That's right. And that you're still here. And don't let nobody take that away from you. Don't, they ain't nobody's business but you and God. Your relationship with a higher power is between you and the higher power. 
you know, it's beyond any kind of religion. It's uh, beyond any kind of traditional and rituals and all those things. But what you want to do is make sure you're able to give God some praise, okay? Give him some praise. And don't let your life be so bad that you can't think. Because let me tell you something. There's a lot of people under the dirt that wish they was on top of it. And right here in this space and in this time, right now, God has allowed you to be here with us, all of us, in the land of the living. And let's be grateful for that. Let's be grateful. In spite of all the craziness that's going on, in spite of all of it, let's find a way to be grateful, people. All right? Okay. And I'm going to let y'all go ahead so you can enjoy your Sunday. And I'm going to keep on singing. Thank my God for how he kept me. Oh, I want to thank him because he never left me. And I'm going to sing somewhere around God altar. And I'm going to shout all oh, my troubles over. You know my soul. Just back and wonder how did I make it over? 